In the heart of New York City, where skyscrapers kissed the clouds and the streets buzzed with life, Peter Parker, better known as Spider-Man, faced a crisis unlike any other. Not a supervillain or an alien invasion, but something far more daunting, his bank balance. Web fluid, $30, suit repairs, $50, rent, late. Again, Peter muttered, flipping through his bills. As Spider-Man, he had saved the city countless times, but as Peter Parker, he couldn't even save enough to buy a decent sandwich. One day, after a particularly embarrassing incident where his web shooters ran dry mid-swing, sending him crashing into a pile of garbage bags, Peter decided it was time to hang up his suit. Maybe superheroes should get a salary, he sighed, staring at the hole in his last pair of socks. Enter Tony Stark, the billionaire genius behind Iron Man. Finding Peter in his apartment surrounded by tech parts and unpaid bills, Tony had an idea. Ever thought of investing, kid? He asked, casually flipping a coin. Investing? I can barely afford extra ketchup at the diner, Peter replied, skepticism written all over his face. Tony, with the patience of a saint and the enthusiasm of a kid in a candy store, introduced Peter to the stock market. It's like fighting bad guys, but with money. You analyze, predict, and bam, you strike. Peter's first foray into the stock market was cautious. With a small loan from Tony, he bought options in Tesla, inspired by Tony's love for flashy, tech-savvy companies. Electric cars, huh? Sounds futuristic, Peter remarked, unsure but intrigued. The next few weeks were a roller coaster. Peter juggled fighting petty criminals with checking stock prices on his beat-up phone. Swinging from buildings, he'd sneak peeks at the market, cheering silently when Tesla's stock ticked upwards. Then it happened. Tesla announced a groundbreaking innovation and its stock soared. Peter's modest investment skyrocketed, turning his small loan into a small fortune overnight. Peter Parker, the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, had become Peter Parker, the newbie Wall Street mogul. His first act, upgrading his spider suit with all the bells and whistles money could buy. Yet with great power and great wealth comes great responsibility. Peter didn't forget the struggles of his old life. He donated to charities, helped Aunt May with her mortgage, and even set up a fund for struggling young heroes. But money couldn't change everything. Peter still loved a good $1 pizza slice, still tripped over his own feet, and yes, still found himself swinging into the occasional window. In the end, Spider-Man returned to his hero duties, not because he had to, but because he wanted to. With a new perspective and a healthier bank account, he was ready to face whatever challenge came swinging his way.